So right now, we're talking about your home. You know, every home needs a little bit of green, and a popular trend in plants right now are cactus and succulents. So we have a chance to learn a little bit more about those. Take a look. It's interesting how succulents today have caught on. They come and go in trends, and I've noticed that happen over the years. Today, with container gardening, as people uh, use more annuals and perennials in their gardens, cacti and succulents are great for summer sun and an open patio uh, or as house plants. It's interesting how I got interested in succulents. My focus actually started about the age of three when I uh, would go into my grandfather's small home greenhouse. He had a few little succulent plants in there along with the geraniums he grew for his yard. And I got an interest at that early age. And I say at age nine, I actually started my collection. I sort of rephrase it as uh, this is a nine-year-old's hobby run amok because today I've been collecting all these years and today I now have a collection of over 4,000 different species of cacti and succulents from all over the world. People ask me the difference between a cacti and a succulent. And cacti are a family of plants that come from the New World, from North America through South America. And uh, they are perennial, they have a wheel-shaped flower and a buried fruit. Now this plant has thorns, but it comes directly out of the stems. So this is a euphorbia, uh, one of uh, a family of one of many of 50 different families of plants that have succulent members. And this one comes from South Africa. These are Haworthias, very easy plants to grow on a windowsill, under lights, and to me it holds particular fascination. Though there's only 64 species of plants in South Africa, I have amassed a collection of about 1,100 different geographic forms. They come from areas that are summer rainfall and winter rainfall, so that some grow in the summer, some grow in the winter. This is another succulent, Senecio huorthii, that comes from South Africa with very soft, fuzzy, velvety stems that, uh, again, are a, more of a winter grower and the covering, the white fuzzy covering, is its way of protecting itself from a hot desert sun. This is a century plant, and when this plant flowers, it's going to send up a spike from the middle of the plant, and when it's done flowering, it's going to die. This was a 30-year-old seedling, similar to this one, and it has flowered, and it even has interest in its death that I have not thrown it away. We do have a club, the Midwest Cactus and Succulent Society, which actually began in 1936 here in Northeast Ohio and still continues today. With this current trend in cacti and succulents, uh, we've seen an increase in membership and excitement about these plants. When you can see plants like this with these special forms and colors, this is what is making cacti and succulents popular today. that you know what cactus and succulents are. We're gonna show you some of the many varieties and things you can do with them. Take a look. Succulents are uh, they're pretty easy to grow, um, provided you have adequate uh, light and the proper soil, and you water them when they need to be watered. They're something that could be very easily overwatered. For the most part, you want to water them when you see the soil uh, dry. You want to have a well-drained soil, um, and you want to stay away from things that have a lot of peat in them. Um, those are a little bit, uh, the peat has a little bit of a higher acidity, which isn't good for succulents. Um, you want to stay with something that's more uh, coir based, which is coconut fiber or coconut peat. Um, and then other things that'll help the water drain out of the soil, like pumice, um, perlite is good. You do kind of want to neglect them, Whereas other plants you want to constantly watch when you're going to be watering these, you want to kind of leave them alone and let them do their thing. In our climate zone, we do have succulents and cactus that we can plant outside for year round. But for the most part, the stuff in here that we're looking at is indoor plants. Um, outside in the summer, but indoor uh, generally for year round. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with the tallest plant in the center. This one here is called Crisula Campfire. Nice, pretty uh, plant that's about to bloom. Then we're gonna go over and use the uh, Crisula watch chain. We're gonna just kind of tuck that in the back 
in the background. And then we also have a nice uh, hyper tufa stone that we're going to put in here for a nice little decorative piece. And up front, we're going to want to put our echeverias because they're the lowest growing plants. And they're going to stay nice and low in the front so we can see everything that's in the background. There's a few that are really, really easy. Um, the Crisula, like Ovada, which is the jade. That's this one here. These are very, very easy to maintain. Um, they're slower growing, but um, they can take a little bit more abuse than some of the other ones. Leaf propagation um, is when you take a leaf of the succulent plant and you lay it somewhere dry. After a period of time, and this works on most of them, a small uh, rosette, new growth, will start from the end of the uh, foliage of the succulent. As far as color goes and, and beauty, like the most, in my opinion, the most colorful and, and beautiful looking would be like the uh, Echeverias. Um, this one here is called Debbie. And Echeverias have this nice rosette, like round shape. Um, there's another one here called Pearl Von Nuremberg. I think succulents are so popular because just the versatility of them. Um, you can plant them indoors, outdoors in the summer months. Uh, there's so many different varieties and you can plant them in all kinds of containers. It's just a lot of neat things you can do with them. And if you'd like to learn more about these plants or pick some up from your home, you might want to stop by the Midwest Cactus and Succulent Society's annual plant show at the Cleveland Botanical Gardens. The show will take place March 19th and 20th. Well, check this out. Though.